Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie Selleck, and today we are in Oldenburg, Indiana. We are at Holy Family Church. We are with Father Carl. Father Carl, nice to see you. Likewise, good to be here. So uh, can you tell me just a little bit about maybe some of the various pastors who have ministered to the people in Oldenburg? Well, you know that Oldenburg was founded about 1837, and as a little town on the frontier, the first priest that came here was Father Joseph Fernanding, who came from Vincennes. Vincennes was like the, the, the diocese, the headquarters of the church in all of Indiana. So anyway, Father uh, Joseph Fernanding came and gathered the people of Oldenburg and had mass here on occasion. But he's known to have founded 30 different communities or 30 different churches around this area, which is pretty amazing. And I don't remember how many years he was serving in that capacity, but eventually Father Franz Joseph Rudolph came from Alsace in uh, Germany and he became the pastor here, I believe in 1844 and served here 22 years. And it's his picture who, that's on the wall in the back of the church. And he was responsible for building the old stone church, which is over on this side. And then in 1846 or so, and then 15 years later built this church in 1861 or two. Okay, in 1851, Father Franz Joseph Rudolph decided that they needed sisters here to help with the, the education of the children. So he brought Sister Teresa Hackelmeyer from Germany and she gathered some of the young women from around the area and founded, along with Father Joseph Rudolph's help, the Sisters of Oldenburg. Great. Sister Teresa uh, established this convent with Father Joseph's help and it grew dramatically. I mean, they, they taught in many of the schools around this area and even in Cincinnati and I think they had some in Detroit too. But it was like 900 sisters in the community at one time, now they're down to a couple of hundred. Right. But the convent is right across the street and it's the biggest building in this, the city. So I understand there's something very unique, uh, unusual about this church. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I told you that Franz Joseph Rudolph died in 1866 well, what's interesting is that he's buried in the corner of the church here, and there's a big tombstone marking the location. I have never been in the basement to see if the tomb is really there, but that's what we're told. So, all right, so can you describe some of the recent developments, amalgamations, et cetera, that have happened here lately? Yeah, in, in 2013, the archdiocese decided to combine a couple of the neighboring parishes with Holy Family, uh, St. Mary the Rock, was uh, one of the ones, and St. Anne in Hamburg is the other. So those two communities have been joined to Holy Family. Uh, so it's increased our numbers and increased the, apparently the number of young families and babies and children. When I, when I was here in 1975 to 78, it always struck me as a rather old community. And I was surprised when I came two months ago and there's all these crying babies all the time during mass. That's great. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, the future. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's it's the, really the crying. No, but the future. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Right. So I've had five baptisms since I've been here, and and I've had one or two weddings, and there's about four more coming up in the next three or four weeks. Yes. So. Uh, so what is the future? What's the future like for Holy Family Parish? I think the future is very positive and will continue to grow as more and more families are established and more and more homes are built in the area. And so tell me about the, uh, the development of the school. In around 1936, there was an, a need for a larger school and the pastor at that time uh, had plans drawn and the issue with the people of the parish was that it had inside plumbing and the uh, the parishioners thought that was excessive because they didn't have inside plumbing at home. Why should the kids have inside plumbing at school? Well, the pastor won, but he had to give up one of the bowling alleys. We have three bowling alleys instead of four, and apparently the cafeteria is smaller than it was originally planned to be. Oh, wow, hilarious. 
Yes. Thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard here in Oldenburg, Indiana today at the Holy Family Parish with Father Carl. Father Carl, thanks again for joining us. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.